I've managed to get my hands on the new AirPods Pro announced by Apple seemingly completely out of the blue this week. There was lots of speculation and lots of rumors that this was going to be happening, but there was no keynote. It was just dropped in a random video on YouTube just showing them off and they look pretty cool. So I thought I'd pick them up. So for $250, these new earbuds feature loads of different things in them. They've got audio sharing, announced messages with Siri, adaptive EQ, water resistance, active noise cancellation, which was the big one for a lot of guys, transparency mode, and they only come in white. But you guys already already knew all of that so let's jump straight on into the box. So the actual box itself isn't too different from anything we've seen in the past with the AirPods 1 or the AirPods 2. The box is a little bit fatter but that's just to accommodate all the extra bits that you get inside like the ear tips and stuff like that. In order to get into the box all you need to do is just peel this tab at the top and the plastic covering will come straight off. So once you go ahead and take off the top lid you'll be greeted with the quick start guide along with all of your safety and warranty information but on this occasion absolutely no Apple stickers which is really annoying. Where am I going to stick all my Apple stickers? I know, big problems. If we set all that off to the side, you'll be greeted with the AirPods Pro. So first impressions, they look really, really nice, but I'm gonna go ahead and set them off to the side so we can see what else is in the box. So if we just go ahead and lift up this tray here, you see we've got the different options for the extra ear tips. So you've got the small and the large. So there's actually three different options that we can choose from. So there's currently the mediums on the AirPods Pro, and then you've got the small and the large, which you can choose from. And you can actually check which ones are the best for your ears by going into the settings app. And you can do this fit test where you play a bit of music and you can actually see using algorithms um, if there's any ear leakage or stuff like that. So it's really, really good and you can check exactly which ones are the best fit for your ear. So the next bit was a little bit controversial. A lot of people were freaking out on Twitter that we were finally gonna have an entire pro line with USB-C, but that's not the case. You'll see that one side of this charging cable is USB-C, but the actual side that goes into the AirPods Pro is still a lightning cable. So the way you charge it is with a USB-C brick and a lightning cable, so there you go. So bringing back the AirPods Pro, you'll see that they're in exactly the same plastic packaging that you'd find on the AirPods 1 or the AirPods 2. All you need to do is just pull on the tab and that'll come straight off. Now having a first look at them, you'll see that you've got the indicator light on the front, opening them up, they look really, really cool inside. So these are the AirPods Pro. You'll see that you've got the same magnetic hinge at the back that is really, really satisfying to close. And you've also got the button in order to pair the AirPods Pro with non-standard Apple devices. Taking the AirPods Pro out of the case, you'll notice that they've got a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences to the AirPods that we're used to. They've got a much shorter stem, but the biggest difference you'll notice are these ear tips on the ends of them, and also these little black vents on there as well, because there's different ways of interacting with the AirPods Pro now, so they're really, really cool. So for this first look, that's all from me. If you'd like to see more content like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And of course, if you have any questions, then be sure to leave them down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.